Hello everyone, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishash. I welcome you all in my channel Tanmay Q. Today's topic of discussion is on MCQ and the question is in front of you. This is a very easy question. That's why I request everyone please pause the video, try by yourself and please write your explanation in the comment box. I believe we have tried, so let's start. Now, what is the major product of these reactions? So this is actually a four member ring with oxygen, another six member ring. It reacts with this Grignard reagent and next step is actually work up. Acidic worker. So what is the product or is it no reaction? So that's the question. So before going to the main discussion, let's learn a little bit about the reactivity of Grignard reagent. I guess that will help. So if you look at the reactivity, reactive centers in Grignard reagent means if I say here methyl magnesium iodide. Now if you look at this magnesium atom, this is electropositive with respect to both iodine and carbon. By the way, halogens are more electronegative atom. So based on the electronegativity difference and bond polarity, both this iodide and this carbon is delta negative, means little extra electron they have from this covalent bond and magnesium is little deficient in electron density. That's why it's called delta plus. Now iodine by nature, it's a halogen. So by nature, it is electronegative atom getting some extra electron density. So this part is stable. So it will not react. But if you look at this with carbon part, Carbon is not that much of electronegative atom and it got some amount of extra electron density. That's why this is reactive. So in Grignard region, this carbon center is reactive. Not only that, actually, if you look at the magnesium, it is in plus two oxidation state. OK, so this mag magnesium in plus two oxidation state can act as a Lewis acid means electron deficient and it can accept a pair of electron. Now what is the role of ether? So if you look at these Grignard region, for example, this methyl magnesium iodide. So this magnesium have a bond with methyl and iodide. So bond means two electron from this bond, two electron from this bond. Now four electron. So if two molecules of ether coordinates with this magnesium, then it has eight electron density in its outermost shell, means another octet field structure. Okay, so these because of this reason, ether molecules are there, so they acting as solvent and they coordinate and stabilize the magnesium center. So this is the overall reactivity of Grignard region. That's why ether is taken and why anhydrous because this carbon is delta negative if water present so that water can react with this carbon, with this methyl and it can produce alkane. So that is a waste of Grignard region. That's why anhydrous solvents like anhydrous ether is used. Now when you take this molecule, how the reaction start? So this is also a four member ether. By the way, you may think, sir, I had diethyl ether, so it was not reacting with Grignard reagent. But why this four member uh, ring is reacting? Because this is stable. That's why you can use it as a solvent. This is because this molecule is a four member ring. So you can expect that it has some amount of ring strain. Four member ring. Another thing, all are sp3 hybridized. So this ring strain is the reason why this molecule will react with this Grignard region. So here one of the oxygen lone pair will be coordinated to this magnesium 2 plus. Okay, oxidation state, I mean this magnesium atom. So consequently the methyl, see oxygen was a neutral atom. Because of the electronegative difference between this oxygen and carbon, these bonds are delta positive. Agree. Now after that this oxygen coordinated to this magnesium center. So oxygen became slightly more electron deficient. So they'll pull electron density from this two sigma bond even more. So consequently this two carbon center will become better electrophilic, electron deficient. So that time this delta negative, I mean this methyl group can act as a nucleophile and it will attack with its bond pair. I mean methyl minus you can consider it will attack here and it will open up. Now you may ask sir why this position? Why not here? This is because this side is a lesser bulky. So nucleophilic attack is preferred on this less bulkier side. That is the reason this methyl will attach here and obviously O minus in order to neutralize or counterbalance this negative charge, this MgI plus because I have 
actually previously what part is con methyl group is consumed so mgi is remaining so that mgi remain closer to o minus in order to have electron neutrality so this is the first step this is methyl magnesium bromidine and hydrocyte now in the next step h3o plus means it is you may consider combination of h plus plus h2o by the way actually this h plus reacts with this water and produce this hydronium ion okay fine so this h plus actually reacts or consumed by this o minus and it forms this oh and obviously what is the fate of this mg oh and here i so this is now this is the reaction so this is the product of this reaction now what is the major product of this reaction obviously ethyl group oh so option b is the right answer now why not option a just during the mechanism study i have showed that okay nucleophilic attack at this side not possible because it is more bulky so that product is option a so it is not possible now if you do not know the answer less than 30 seconds how can you come up to the right answer now if you look at this is it is actually a ether formation means this methyl will attack on oxygen this is a electron rich delta negative so how can it act attack on this electronegative or electron rich oxygen not possible so ether formation is not possible now grignard reagent reacts with four member epoxide to produce this alcohol open up even remember one info, another information grignard reagent also react with this three member ring or epoxide and result in a for example here ch3 so ch3 ch2 ch2 oh another primary alcohol with two carbon extra so this is another reaction so from that knowledge you can consider okay this is not possible no reaction obviously not possible so between a and b now in this way you have removed these two options so now situation became easier for you to decide about the right answer so obviously based on your answer then okay nucleophilic attack less bulky site because it's a primary center and if you look at this carbon it's a secondary carbon so obviously nucleophilic attack on primary carbon is better so reaction will happen and produce the option b so in this way also less than 30 seconds if you can think this thing quickly you can come up to the right answer but for that purpose first study second practice both are essential so this is the overall discussion i believe this video will be useful if you really consider the content of my channel is worthy then please help this channel to grow and if you have any doubt regarding the logo of my channel i request everyone please read this much your doubt will be clear so see you in my next video bye bye